you know. But unfortunately, I also see people that do stay in the business a long time, but they may have not done a course for 10 years. So can you explain what the check method is and how it differs from traditional health and fitness approaches? And what are its core principles? Mm. And why do you believe it's effective? When people follow my recommendations, they get the results that they're after. So it's literally through um, results is what I would say. What is the Czech Institute? So the Czech Institute, it, so it, it's an organization that teaches health and fitness professionals of all types. So personal trainers, osteopaths, chiropractors, physical therapists, medical doctors, nurses, you, know, you, you name it. Some people that have never even worked in the industry, we, we get everyone from, from all sorts of backgrounds. But we have two, two main arms of the training. One is called integrative movement science. The other one is called holistic lifestyle coaching. So in integrative movement science, over five years, we teach people more and more about exercise, how to assess the body physically. We go into a lot of detail in terms of how to design an exercise program. Again, I think that's where a lot of education breaks down, that people aren't really taught how to do a, uh, how to design an exercise program really well. Um, so we, we cover corrective exercise. So we, we learn how to assess the body. Then we learn how to correct the body. So the first thing we do with most people is that we build a strong foundation in the body physically. So we get it well aligned. We get it stable. Then we get it strong. And if needs be, then we then we enable it to move fast. Okay, so you're building blocks as you go up. What that enables check practitioners to do is to work with people in, that are in pain and to get them out of pain but also it enables us to get people to perform at their best so as i say i generally work with people in pain but also with athletes as well and again from all kinds of sports i once work, worked with a downhill skier so she came to me to prepare her for the turin olympics and she was ranked 40th in the world at the time and i said well, what do you want to achieve and she said, well, I want to, I want to be in the top 10 in the downhill at the Olympics. So I said, great. So we had about nine months to get there. Although I didn't have nine months to help her because she was going to go off and be at the training camp in Austria. So I had a short window to help her physically. But she made such massive progress in such, such a short period of time, not just from the exercise program, but we did quite a lot on diet as well. I mean, it's amazing how, how different her diet was in terms of what I gave her compared to what the British Olympic Association wanted her to eat. And, you know, to go, to go up 30 places in the world rankings in, in less than a year is pretty, pretty unheard of, but she came 10th at the Olympic games. So, she was she was pretty happy at that. And the reason I bring that up is because I've never skied myself. So you think I've never even stood on on a slope. So, you know, the reason the reason why I was able to do that is because what we teach in the Czech Institute is not what to think, but how to think. And one of the first things we say to all the students is don't believe a word that we say. Take away what we're teaching you and put it to the test yourself. And if it doesn't work, come and let us know. I've never had anyone come back and say, oh, this didn't work or that didn't work. Right. So so that's the integrated movement science. Now, whilst there are two arms, they're not independent of each other, really. They're taught in different classes, but because it's a holistic approach, they go together. They're not really separate. So the holistic lifestyle coaching, so there are three levels over the five years. Integrated movement science, there's five levels over five years. But in the holistic lifestyle coaching, the first level is to teach people how to live a healthy life themselves. So te you know, teaching people how to eat well, how to hydrate well, how to sleep well, how to make sure they've got enough recovery, how to de-stress, how to relax, all those kind of things, how to breathe. And then holistic lifestyle coaching is level two and three are the professional levels where we teach practitioners how to help other people do that. So some of the things we do, for instance, there's, there's a whole battery of questionnaires we get people to complete. And for me, it's like... Um, it weeds out the people that aren't really interested because it takes hours to fill them in, right? And one of them in particular, what it does, it gives me an idea of how well balanced or healthy 28 different systems of the body are. And it gives me an idea of really where I need to focus my attention to help that person. So 
you know, things like your organs, your glands, your hormones, um, your emotions. So it, it really gives you a really, really good idea. The thing that we always try and get across to people, particularly in the integrated movement science classes, is that you've still got to consider everything else that we teach in the holistic lifestyle coaching, because I'll give you an example. Let's say someone comes in and they've got back pain, right? And then in our physical assessments, we notice that their deepest abdominal muscle, the transversus abdominis, isn't working as it should work. Well, then you're always asking, so what's causing it? Because you always want to get to the root cause. Well, in some instances, it can be something they're eating. So if, they're, if it's causing inflammation in their gut, what that does, it inhibits what's called the type 1 or slow twitch muscle fibers that are surrounding that area. So the abdominal muscles are surrounding your gut. If your gut is inflamed, particularly the deepest muscle and particularly the what's called the slow twitch fibers of the deepest muscle, they become inhibited. But if those muscles are inhibited, it creates instability in the spine. So that's why you've got to look at it from a holistic point of view, because if I just said, oh, that muscle's not working, let me give you an exercise for that. Yeah, it might work the type 2B fibers or what are called the fast twitch fibers, but they don't stabilize the spine. They move the spine. So the only way you're going to fix that problem is by eliminating those foods from the diet for at least you know a few months before you reintroduce them and see if the body's able to handle them. So it really is a very, very holistic system. And I think I, I certainly don't know of any other system that is as holistic as the Czech system. Just to point out as well, we do encourage our students to study other, other things as well. We don't say, this is all you need to know. And, you know, that's all you're ever going you're, you're to need to study. You know, we, we encourage people to go and study manual therapies as, as I've done. Go and study energy medicine as I've done. Right. And the other thing we highly recommend, and again, something that I do, is to refer out for specific things. So let me give you some examples. If someone has an issue with their eyes or their ears or their what's called the upper cervical spine or their jaw mechanics, I've got a team of people I can refer to to work on those things. Right. So you know, in the physical assessments, we do assess the eyes, we assess the ears, we assess the jaw, we assess breathing, because all of those things can have an effect on the physical body. All of those things could end up being knee pain or lower back pain, as an example, right? Which is why it takes me four hours to assess someone's physical body. You know, let's say someone's got an eye imbalance and that's causing them to have a, a knee issue. You're never going to solve the knee issue unless you correct the eyes which is why I've got someone in my team that specializes in correcting the eyes, but, and she does it naturally. She doesn't use, you know, eyeglasses. That's incredible how everything is so intertwined mm. with each other. Yeah. And so when it comes to our internal world, what do you think in your opinion really causes acne? So there's, there's a lot of reasons. So let me kind of walk you through from the most to the kind of least important to a degree. For, for most people, the place that I generally start people doing things is, is their diet. But I just want to backtrack a little bit. Even before I start working with someone on those kind of things, the thing I need to work on first is their mind. Because I'm getting someone to go through a period of change. Most people don't like change. Even if they say they do, they don't. Because we all get into our comfort zone, right? I will come along and say, right, well, now you need to start doing this. And you need to start doing that. And like, oh, but hang on, that's outside my comfort zone, right? And, you know, people have come to me and, you know, oh, my acne is really, really bad. It's, you know, it's ruining my life. And it is. And then when I start saying to them, okay, you need to do this and you need to do that. And they're, they're like, oh, no, I can't do that, right? So I have to work on people's minds first. And I spend quite a lot of time on that. But once, once I've got them in the right mindset, then what I work on is diet. Hey guys, I would like to take a moment to introduce you to our app, Yoga Plus. You will have access to an incredible selection of videos led by top instructors in yoga, fitness, nutrition, and so much more. Download our Yoga Plus app available on iOS and Android today. 